Hey everyone, Sherwood Small Pets here. So I'm here with the girls in the pet room and we are gonna do our girls Christmas cage tour as well as just the general pet room Christmas cage, or not kid, Christmas cage, Christmas room tour. Um, I'm so excited. This is the girls' first Christmas with us and it's our first Christmas in uh, this location. So everything's pretty exciting. Uh, you've all seen my tree. Um, so we went, we got really excited with that, but um, the girls' cage was kind of put together with a lot of DIY stuff, uh, some a lot of secondhand stuff, and uh, just kind of some creativity. But let's start with the pet room. So when you come in the door, you have the girls' cage, which is of course highlighted with lights, and then we'll just go along here, and then we've got these lights going here. And for some reason, they're not really showing on the camera, but they change from red to green. I just watch them here and watch them change and see if... Or are they staying green today? I don't know. Who knows? They're odd. They're really weird lights. Don't know how I feel about them yet. Oh, there they go. See? Yeah, now they're red. But they go along the window, leading to Gus, who of course has his stocking his garland, his homemade wreath that I made him, and he's right back there. Aren't you, baby? Yeah. He also has his Christmas decals and a hanging candy cane, because that's something I like to do. In here, hi. In here we have the foster girls, and while they're not staying with us for any great length of time, um, they've been with us for about eight or nine weeks now, and so we figured that since they're going to be with us for the holidays, we couldn't let, leave them out. So this is Lily. Hey. Hi. Hi, honey. They're getting so much more personable. But so they have their stocking, which we'll have, we'll fill for them on Christmas. Some candy canes, a homemade wreath, a giant bell, and more candy canes. cherry blossoms in the pants. And yes, I know it's a Halloween cozy, but they love it. And if I take it away, they get all antsy. So I leave it. Okay, so let's start with along the outside of the cage. So all the way along, we have white Christmas lights because white lights are my favorite thing in the world. And I also wanted to do kind of like a white Christmas theme for the girls, um, but I couldn't do white liners because really, <laughs> If I have to explain it, you guys don't have guinea pigs. Um, so I thought blue and whites were the safest bet. So then along here, we have lots of little Christmas window stickers just to kind of make it fun. The girls are being destructive because that's what they do. Okay, so here they have uh, some really this is uh i'm just gonna show i'm just gonna show them relax so this is just um a tree that i painted with uh water or with uh, food coloring it's safe for them to destroy they probably they'll like chew on it for like 30 seconds and then they'll move on to the next thing but i just put it in there so that's why it's the thing to look at right here they have one of the pine cones that are the christmas trees which they were just attacking a second ago Hey, Lilo. Hi, baby. Hello. Is the Christmas tree just in the way? Here, I'll move it. There. That's what it was. It was in the way. I'm just going to take it out for a second so they don't send it flying while I'm trying to show you guys things. And we're... Hi. So what Gwen is eating right now is, also, is a Christmas present. Um, it's just a paper cutout of an owl on regular paper. Anyway. Um, here they have their gingerbread boy spinner thing from uh, Linda, some playtime little critter creations. Um, they have their, um, Christmas cupcake uh, hay bag that they got from Natasha. Um, our Christmas theme wouldn't really have been possible without Natasha, so I just want to say thanks to her. Um, right here is a wreath that I made. 
We just found these yesterday. Finally, these are the like just the all living things Christmas toys. They have their carrot dish, which there you get, you know, their little forage in there every day. This is a pad by Piggy Pop Shop. Looks like snow. I'm pretending it's snow for white Christmas. And then here, since the liner that we had wasn't big enough for the whole cage, I made this lap pad that's like the wood grain. I thought that was perfect for, you know, Christmas. Here they have a Piggy Pop Shop tunnel that again is from Natasha. We flipped it inside out because it's the cupcakes on the inside, but this was perfect for what we, you know, needed it for. This is their stackable toy, which I wish I could get like 60 of. Here they have one of the girls Christmas presents. It's this uh, really adorable dish from Bobby's Bunny Boutique. It's huge and sturdy, which is good because the girls actually do prefer sharing a food dish. And it also like goes well with this one that I got at Petco. Here we have a liner from Natasha that was made by Piggy Pop Shop. It's just these adorable little frogs on skates with snowflakes. This is our newest uh, jingle ball from Maddie. The girls love it. They just got him 20 minutes ago. This is their Christmas corn of the owl and he already no longer has a beak or a wing. Here is a Christmas cone uh, from Linda, as well as their toss about toy that was done in red and green because that's, I asked her for that <laughs> to go along with all the colors. This is a little extra lollipop there. This was their green um, barrel roller that we got to go with all the colors. What you're looking at here is the Santa hat or the little hat with the pom pom um, in the same print as the liner. Uh, also made by Piggy Pop Shop from Natasha. Over here is our newest corner curtain that we got from Jessica and we just flipped it for the gray for this week just for the cape the theme because we thought it would go like nice and coordinated and then over here we just have a pad by Piggy Pop Shop and the Christmas bird print their raccoon blanket of course they have the corner house that we got um, from Natasha as well it's amazing I don't have any of these um, but they're really cool I, I like them quite a lot. I, I don't think I'd use it with the boys because the uh, opening's so small, but the girls seem to get along just fine with it. And the pattern's adorable. And then here, of course, they've got their seagrass ball that's about done. They have this Christmas pudding ball that we got from Bobby's Bunny Boutique. And I think that's everything on the floor. So now I'll show you their decorations along the back. So all the way across here, you have this, like, I think it's probably one of the cutest garlands I've ever seen. I actually was lucky enough to get it at my work, where I work at Lowe's. Um, so that was pretty awesome. I thought the colors went perfectly with everything. And it's just, it's so cute. And then here we just have some ornaments that I colored myself. And then bells, again, the blue. This is a, a toy from Hop Nibble Squeak. Um, Natasha bought them and kept like they were never even out of the package and she had to rehome her pigs so I was like okay I'll take them <laughs> and so coincidentally as well we got this one which is probably one of the prettiest things I've ever seen the bell even has a snowflake on it and it's by again hop nibble squeak this is a wreath that I made with uh, willow balls and wooden beads I thought the heart it made sense to leave the willow heart because it looked like festive enough this is a bell on a spiral, because, you know, why not? Another bell, because you know me and bells. A wooden star. And finally, another bell. And then I will give you one more overview. Okay, so that has been the Christmas, the girls' Christmas cage tour. They look so thrilled with me right now. Here, go closer to your sister. There you go. And that's, these are the girls in their Christmas bows saying thank you so much for everything, everyone, uh, this year. We've appreciated it. You guys have made our year. Gus is sharing his appreciation in his own weird way. And, uh, yeah, Merry Christmas, everyone. Take care.